Hey everyone, this is Adam with EKM Metering. Today's video is intended to introduce you to the EKM widget version 3, as well as give you a bit of an overview of some of the new features we've added. So here I am on EKM Metering's website at ekmmetering.com backslash widget. This is an information page about the widget. So if I click the link here, it'll open the widget uh, so that we can set it up. So th for those of you who are familiar with our, our previous widget, this should look a bit familiar. Uh, here by default, we're displaying the latest 100 reads of real-time data. Uh, the buttons below will allow you to change that if you wish. You can load 500 or 1,000. Um, up here displays the latest reads. Down here gives you your total kilowatt hours by default. Uh, perhaps the biggest new feature in the widget version 3 is our history. So this will allow you to display uh, the history uh, and a timeline that you can select for, uh, in this case, kilowatt hours, which is the default. So right now we're displaying 12 hours of 15 minute increments. Uh, we can change that to, let's say, days for a month. So this gives you the last, last month of days kilowatt hour usage. And in this case, it'll sum all of these days into a value here. So this is how many kilowatt hours have been used over the last month. Behind the gear icon, you can set up the widget even further. So if you came to a public widget and you wanted to enter your own data, you could put your push key in here, click the check mark. If everything's okay, it will it'll give you a check mark up here and give you a list of your meters available here. Um, so I'm going to say, let's try this meter, keep the bar graph. Uh, let's display hours for five days. It will also allow you to select your time zone. You first select your country. And this will change the default push data, which is in UTC time or GMT time, uh, to your local time. Uh, once you're ready, you can click Apply. and that will adjust your display accordingly. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that as you make settings, um, it'll change your URL up here. This is helpful because it'll allow you to bookmark the page and allow you to come back to exactly what, you see, what you're seeing here. Uh, so you can copy and paste it or create a bookmark. Um, you can also click the bookmark icon here, which will give you exactly the same thing that you can copy. So again, if we go behind the gear, the uh, tab up here for layouts and fields will allow you to select the data that you are displaying. So the total field, which is this green bar here, you can select any kilowatt hour value. And if it's a V4 meter, your pulse count. The line graph field, which are these fields here and the lines, uh, you can select any value up to four values. So if I wanted to display, for example, volts on line one and two and amps on line one and two, I would just click apply and it would show that. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So that's not the most interesting graph, but that's what you have here. Um, you can turn off individual plots by clicking one of these up here. So there, orange is turned off, green is turned off. Now if we go back to the gear icon, again, in layouts and fields, this will allow you to change uh, what the bar graph displays, similar to what you have up here in the total field. 
Uh, and down here, you can change what you display in the table fields and uh, what you want to display uh, as far as the legend, which is this guy up here. It's a show legend. This just allows you to change the URL as well so that everything displays correctly when you come back to your bookmark. So, show buttons. Yeah, everything looks okay. So, I'm going to click apply. Oh, before I do that, I'll just say uh, our release notes are up here. So, you can stay updated with new features as we add them. And that's just one one way to display your widget. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. All right, uh, feel free to check out our YouTube and Vimeo channels for more videos. Uh, you can comment or ask questions there, or you can contact us at info at ekmmetering.com with any questions or comments. All right, this is Adam signing off. See you next time.